big data for security is uh, really challenging on one side, but very rewarding on the other side. And uh, the main objective is um, uh, um, exploring, investigating, providing products on how to help organizations to make sense of the big data they're collecting to find um, pretty much new threats, unknown threats nobody is aware of. So the challenges are really the big data, uh, which data to collect, the scale of it, and being able, uh, once you collected the data, to really um, extract the few uh, hints, the few uh, issues that are relevant um, to trigger uh, investigations. The reward is, of course, detecting as quickly as you can in near time uh, or almost real time these new threats and uh, proceed to remediate to them. There are many um, uh, examples where big data really helps to, um, organization to find um, uh, issues. And uh, uh, again, one of, the, one of these is really um, related to the unknown um, threats. So two examples, um, commercial um, uh, threats that are uh, leveraging uh, what they call DJ, domain generated algorithm or random generated strings. That's uh, really um, uh, taking on, and uh, um, unless you have big data uh, capabilities, it's extremely hard to detect uh, infected devices with conventional techniques. Another one uh, that is uh, uh, extremely important is detecting advanced persistent threat. And you can only do that if you have a big data collected over a very long period of time, talking about weeks, months, or years. The main challenge, as, as we're saying, is uh, collecting data at, at scale. And um, the, some of this data actually is uh, totally irrelevant. It is uh, known being benign, it will just clog servers and your storing capabilities. So uh, you, you need to be clever when you're dealing with big data and focusing really on the subset of the data where it's more likely to find issues. In HP Labs, we have been uh, using uh, techniques called uh, whitelisting of data. So while we can process a scale, there's a huge amount of uh, data coming through, like 16 billion DNS packets per day, um, we can throw away um, basically 99% of the traffic because uh, we have uh, pretty much certainty that for that day, that whitelist traffic is benign. Of course, you, when you're playing this kind of game, you need to continuously reassess your whitelist. The gain is that now you can just get a fraction of the big data, you can concentrate the analytics, and, and you can trigger uh, a very subset of alerts. So starting from billion events to 10, 50 alerts that can be processed by security operations center within organizations. Our direct experience is that customers are really um, engaging. They know that's a problem. Uh, they cannot afford uh, storing data uh, just for the sake of it. So having techniques and solutions like the one we just talked to uh, really uh, reduce the amount of data, but being able to analyze it is uh, really appealing. And the proof point is that not only we pilot this technology live in HP, we also have two pilots uh, with um, uh, customers uh, while talking, and we are productizing this solution both as a product and as a security service. So there is a market there, and uh, we need to go there. <laughs>